I saw this video idea done by a channel called Snake Discovery, where they did um, finger painting with their reptiles. The link to their channel is right here if you want to check that out. My name is Stella, and in today's video, I'm going to be painting with my bearded dragon. I have four color varieties. First, I have orange. Then, I have purple. Then I have blue, and then I have green. The plan is we're going to try to dip her feet in them, and then we're just going to let her run around the canvas. So now we're going to start putting her feet into the paint. So we'll start with this foot. Dip, dip. Now we'll start first, okay. Oh, Pixie, get back here. So now I have to do the back feet. I know, Pixie. We decided to put the potty pad, the canvas, and Pixie inside of a cardboard box that's easier for paint to be less on the floor and less messy and so that pixie is mainly going to be running on the canvas. As you can see it was a very messy process. I was covered in paint and so was pixie. As you can see, this is what the canvas looks like. We did the rest off camera because I kind of needed to use like both hands and stuff and my mom was helping me out. And then we just stopped because Pixie was already stressed out as is and she was covered in paint and we just didn't want to stress her out anymore. So this is what we ended up with. Overall, day one was pretty messy. When we were trying to put Pixie on the canvas, on the canvas, her foot, like, it was covered in paint, but only, like, some of the paint would get off her foot, so, like, not the entire footprint would be on the canvas, but that's still okay. I still like how the canvas turned out, and now, in day two, I have to sketch the canvas, and I have to paint it, and I have to make things out of it and paint it. So, using what Pixie made with her footprints and the paint, that's how I'm going to draw and make art with it. Before I get into the footage of day two, I just want to quickly say that I experienced some technical difficulties and this was like a, ha a huge hassle to edit and um, which is why it's and which is why it's uploaded late by the way and so yeah if if you, if you like see some technical difficulties or something wrong with it um I'm sorry and yeah let's get into day two now. I forgot to film myself sketching um like the characters um and like baking art out of what pixie drew so sorry about that but now you can see me um paint it and then in like more of like the endish of the video i'll go more into detail about the things that i do
two days, I finally finished this project. This is the before and this is the after. Now that we're finally done for, with that, it's time for you guys to meet the characters. Um, I actually did film this part, but then I lost it due to technical difficulties. Anyways, first I have an uwu face, which I made while painting it because I was bored. And next I have a flower, which I made because Pixie like made a dot, so I was not very creative and just made a flower out of that. Then you have a dragon, you can't really see very well, but it's like a kawaii dragon. It has like little blush. And then after that, I boxed off Pixie's footprint, which you can see at the top. And after that, there's a little koi fish that I made that's orange, which is near the right of the painting. Next, I have a shooting star, which I made because um, when Pixie was painting her tail, like, her tail, like, smush the paint in like a slash i don't know how to like really explain it but i just made a shooting star out of that and then i made a dragon actually that's breathing fire i made the fire with red pen and i actually didn't have to like paint the dragon or anything because pixie did it on her own also by the way some of the like proportions on something i drew might not look that like that good or like that realistic but it's okay because Pixie gave us something we had to work with and we did a great job with it, in my opinion. Next, I have um, a painting of a bearded dragon. It was supposed to be like Pixie, so like I was trying to get that. Tell me if it looks like Pixie in the comments down below. And like I said, proportions aren't exactly like a bearded dragon's, but we just had to work with what we had. Next to her, like, like in purple, there is a woodpecker that I made. You can't really tell that it's a woodpecker until you, I like point it out. Anyways, after that I have a Pixie's, another, uh, another of Pixie's footprint, and then I have an arrow and I wrote Pixie's foot next to it. And like I said, I have little doodles around everywhere. So that was it. Some of it I left like on character designed because I was not very creative with those. So like. There's one in the so they're like there's one in the left that's purple and not painted. Anyways, you get the point. Um, so yeah, I had a lot of fun making this, and so did Pixie. Although it was very not very, but like it was stressful for her because she did tolerate it for quite a bit until she just wanted to get out of there. So that's when we stopped and I'm really proud of what we made. And I remember I got this idea from like a trend that was going around and also from Saint Discovery. Remember, if you have any video ideas, you can comment down below and I'll see you next time.